right, so I just wanted to cover the anti-pull harness. Just a regular harness that you can put on over top of your dog. And it's designed to hook in by their chest so they don't pull. Uh, this is a sensible brand and there's only one place to hook on in the front. Typically when I tell people to go get an anti-pull harness, they'll get a harness uh, like a Halty brand and uh, usually they've got one clip for the front and then also a clip for the back. And people will put it on their dog, and they'll clip onto the back and then they'll tell me that my dog pulls harder than they ever pulled before. And that's true because when you hook onto here, it's going to allow your dog to use their whole body to pull into it. But if you were to take and hook into it right into the front by their chest, then what happens is whenever they go to pull, it's going to pull them off to the side. If the leash is on the right side of the dog and he goes to pull, it's going to pull them right. If the leash is on the left side, it's going to pull them to the left. So I'm just going to show you how this one goes on. Hands up. Boy. So just over top of the head, and then it's going to clip right in behind the legs here. And then if I was to hook on his leash, which is hooked onto his collar right now, I'm just taking you, you can kind of see this little ring right here, we can just clip it right into there. And again, if he pulls and I go like this, it's kind of like power steering for your dog. So by pulling this way, it's going to turn him this way. If his leash is on this side and I pull, it's going to pull him that way. And typically if you have it hooked right into the back here, and you're trying to pull and redirect your dog, it's very difficult for your dog to understand which way you're going. But by using this, I can just pull this way, and it's easily going to turn him around. Good boy.